What about those radioactive dating methods? Do these provide evidence for millions or even billions of years in Grand Canyon? The Cardenas Basalt is a series of lava flows occurring deep within the eastern Grand Canyon. Ancient volcanoes accumulated lava flows with a thickness of up to 1,000 feet. This geologic model of Grand Canyon shows how the Cardenas Basalt is deeply buried beneath thousands of feet of strata. These lava flows of Grand Canyon are assumed by many geologists to have a great age, an age of over one billion years. Geologists have attempted to date the Cardenas Basalt using radioactive isotopes. A radioactive parent element or isotope decays to a non-radioactive daughter isotope or element. The proportion of the radioactive parent to non-radioactive daughter can be used to estimate the age of the Cardenas Basalt. An age of 1.7 billion years was obtained using the Samarium Neodymium Isochron method. An age of 1.1 billion years was obtained by the Rubidium Strontium Isochron method. And an age of 0.7 billion years was obtained using the Potassium Argon Isochron method. The three different radioactive isotope dating methods give three different ages for the Cardenas basalt. These discordant ages cause us to ask questions. What is the true age of the Cardenas basalt? Is it A, 1.7 billion years, B, 1.1 billion years, C, 0.7 billion years, or D, none of the above? Some geologists respond none of the above and wonder if anyone has successfully dated a Grand Canyon rock using radioactive isotope methods. We're at a place called Vulcan's Throne. Vulcan's Throne is this uh, cinder cone volcano that uh, is behind me here. Very symmetrical profile mound of uh, volcanic cinders that forms that kind of conical structure called a cinder cone. And uh, Vulcan's Throne is not just an ordinary volcano. We might think of it as one of the world's most extraordinary volcanoes because Vulcan's Throne sits on the north rim of Grand Canyon and it's the source of a series of lava flows that flowed into Grand Canyon. Can you imagine what it must have been like when the volcanoes erupted on the north rim, the uh, lava spilling 3,000 feet down into Grand Canyon. It was an extraordinary sight, no doubt. We actually see the lava flows down at the river. They blocked the river and made a giant lake in the Grand Canyon. Vulcan's Throne is not the only volcano on the north rim of Grand Canyon. There is a whole province of volcanoes that occur along a fault line that runs north-south across the Grand Canyon. And on the north rim of Grand Canyon, we have a whole line of volcanoes. These volcanoes are extraordinary and have been the source of study, of chemical and isotopic studies. And these volcanoes tell an interesting story, and geologists are just beginning to understand that story. A series of lava flows from the North Rim of Grand Canyon, from the Urinkrit Plateau, were dated using the Rubidium Strontium Isochron method. That's the same method that was used to date the Cardenas basalt, that deeply buried basalt layer in the Grand Canyon at 1.1 billion years. The graph that we see here shows the radioactive parent versus the non-radioactive daughter. And we see this sloping line suggesting that the recent lava flows on the north rim of Grand Canyon are 1.2 billion years old. This age, of course, is preposterous. Those lava flows cannot be 1.2 billion years old. They're just thousands of years old. Something appears to be wrong with those radioactive isotope dating methods which assign great ages of billions of years to Grand Canyon rocks.